Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Make It Make, where I always try to encourage you guys, if you can't get it to make, then make it make and be resourceful as possible with what you have in your house. So I thought today I'd share with you a recipe that I grew up eating and I'm very excited to share it with you. It's called arroz con gandules and it's basically a yellow rice with pigeon peas in it. And I love this recipe because you can serve it with chicken or beef and it is just an excellent side dish. Uh, but growing up, it was like the main dish <laughs> in my house. But anyway, here we go. I'm going to just start and dive right in. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I have my pot here and I'm going to turn the heat on to a high heat. And I'm going to put in some olive oil or you can use cooking oil, doesn't matter. I'm just going to get enough oil in here to cover the bottom of the pot. Next, I'm going to be putting in some cubed ham. Uh, this is optional, you do not have to do this. Some people like to put little sausages in it, like sachiches, things like that, but we're just gonna go with this today. As you see, I'm not gonna be putting in a whole lot. And now maybe like, a half a cup. Okay, so while that's cooking and simmering up, I am going to be putting in um, recaito, which is a cilantro base, and Goya makes this product, so you can find it in the Goya aisle. And I'm going to be putting a spoonful of sofrito in as well, and that is a, a tomato base seasoning, and um, Goya also makes this product. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking our recaito, and I'm just gonna be putting a spoonful in. And I'm going to be taking our sofrito and putting a spoonful of the sofrito in. And I'm going to put in some olives as well. Mix it up. My gosh, I wish you guys could smell this. It's just amazing. Okay, now we are going to be adding two and a half cups of water. Two. Okay, so we are going to be using sazon and we are gonna be using one packet of that to put in our uh, arroz con gandules. One packet. Gives a, a, the rice a lot of color, a lot of flavoring as well. Then we're going to be taking some tomato sauce. This is an eight ounce can. You only need a half a cup for this recipe. Next, we're going to be adding our gandules, which are green pigeon peas, and we are going to drain these guys and add them to our mixture. Okay. Oh, it smells so good. We're gonna wait until this gets to a simmer, which we're pretty much almost there. This is pretty hot. Yeah, we're there. And we're gonna add two and a half cups of rice. And the moment you add your rice, you're gonna lower the heat down to as low as you can possibly go and let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes. This is one, two, I'm gonna stir it real well. You also want to add your adobo. I add about six heavy swirls. One, two, three, four, five, six. And again, we're going to lower down the heat to as low as possible. Cover it up and let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, now we're going to check the rice. I think it's done. I ended up cooking it about 30 to 40 minutes instead of 20 to 30, but that's fine. So let's take a look. Oh my gosh, yes, that's perfect. That is just perfect. Okay, so I am going to taste the rice now. Mm-hmm. 
absolutely perfect. It's like all kinds of flavorings. You can probably see it better like this now. It's so tasty. And I'm actually going to be making later a chicken stew to go on top of the rice. You could do that or you could just eat it like this with chicken on the side or beef on the side. I mean, it typically there is, um, or traditionally I should say, there is always some sort of meat on the side with um, the ajo con gandules. So yeah, this turned out really well. I'm really happy and pleased with it. All right, thank you guys so much for watching my video on how to make ajo con gandules. I wish you the best of luck in making it. And uh, definitely let me know what traditional foods you guys grew up eating and what makes you always feel like at home when you eat uh, you know, certain foods. This is definitely one of them for me. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, God bless.